Hey, we're here at UConn Con, and we're with the zombie leader. We're going to talk about his run for. What are you doing? We're talking to the. Will you stop it? We're talking to the zombie leader about his run for Man of the Year 2016. It's a 10 week sprint. It goes from March 31st to June 11th. 10 weeks of sprinting. It Jeez. is a fundraiser. Every dollar raised counts as a point. So whoever comes up with the most money raised wins the competition. So, most money. All right. How are the, is the Angry Geeks audience going <laughs> to raise you money? Well, here's the deal, Louie. You know, I'm a geek, I'm a zombie leader. I think a little bit outside the box. So my campaign is very untraditional. It's going to be probably the most fun campaign they've ever seen. So I am trying to put together a roller derby tournament. I'm trying to put together a burlesque superhero burlesque show in New York. I'm trying to put together a cosplay prom. I am aiming at you, the geek audience, to back me and help me win Man of the Year. You heard it, that's a challenge, drop it. Jeremy! Make it rain! Jeremy, what do you gotta add to this? Gonna shake my butt for it. Make it rain, Todd, make it rain! Hold it, hold yeah! It, hold it, hold it. Give me the mic, give me the mic. So, so, are you, Jeremy, are you asking the Angry Geeks audience, public access, YouTube, Facebook, for every butt shake you do, every butt shake you do, the donate $1? For every butt shake, I can donate a dollar for a butt shake. Did you hear that? So if you want to see Jeremy shake his butt, shaking his thing. I don't think we're going to raise money that way at all. Nobody wants to see. How about please donate so he will not shake his thing. And then we'll raise a lot of money. One less time I will shake my butt. You know what? We're going to do that. Let's let's set that up, Jeremy. Let's set something up so you could... You could, what do you think about that, Todd? How, how would you like that of Jeremy shaking his booty for your cause? It's a disturbing He's not disturbing thought. I don't want to he lose money. Him. Well, I think, I think we should do it. It would be like a twerk-a-thon or something like that. God. I think we should. You know what? This, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to set up. the Massachusetts event. So. Yeah, so we're, we're going to set it up. I'm going to go home tonight. I'm going to look at the calendar. We're going to set it up so you could be in the geek layer. Bring a cosplay friend. Yes. And we'll have everything all set up then so we can have this man do something for your charity. Until dawn, I'll be shaking it all night long. What do you say? Are you down for the Angry Geeks help like that? Yes. <laughs> yes. You heard it right here at UConn Con. We're going to set it up. We're going to set it. We're going to get a date. You come down, and this man will do something to make him Man of the Year 2016. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. Look who we found at UConn Con, the Angry Geek Show, Cosplay Supreme 2015, the one and only Kepra Von Stitches. And Charlie, Charlie, what are you doing? Look, Charlie in the background, this, we didn't even think that we would run into her here. Or if we did, I would have brought your prize. So you know what? We're going to have to have you come down next month in the Geek Later like we planned. Yes, thank you. She's nervous because she got a panel. She doesn't know. Don't worry about it. We have live panels all the time, and we don't know what we're doing. Just wing it. You're going to be fine. Well, you this guys just being here is, is present enough. I don't need my gift. Look at that. No, no, you got a gift. You got a gift. We're going to get you that gift. But anyway, your panel, what's it going to be about? <laughs> cosplay 101. Cosplay 101. And if anybody. Or, 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 or. Cosplay 101. Cosplay 101. Jeremy, add something. That was all I got. Yeah. Wow, that was hot. <laughs> I got to tell you, that was hot. All right, I'm going to leave you two alone. Here you go. All right. Take over. All right. I mean, this could get dangerous. Uh, uh, you might you want to turn off the camera. The love tonight. Oh my. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, we're going to let you get to your panel. May you know what? Maybe we should stop in and record a little bit of the panel. Give her some support. What do you say? It's up to her. Uh, I wouldn't want to make her feel. Yeah. Awkward. We're going to be there. Check out the highlights of her panel. And you know what? You're going to see her soon live in the Geek Lair with me and Jeremy. We're going to take a break because we're going to hit up the panel and we'll be back. On the side of a milk carton, have you seen this woman? <laughs> See ya. Are you killing me now? No, just keeping you in my basement. Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> See ya. Added layers to it because you can buy it with sticky backings and things like that. So, um, 
Other methods, you know, include like various types of leather and, and, and leather scraps you can get at Michael's or uh, various craft shops like Joann's or things like that. Um, yeah. So you, so you like taking store bought and adding store -bought to things, it, altering yeah. it. Yeah. Another, another kind of clever thing is I actually built these armor pieces out of uh, PVC pipe. So it's like an elbow pipe that I just cut the elbow out of and attached basically with, uh, with uh, Velcro. And I just put slats through that and, and I had like a template for all of the blades to make sure that they were uniform. And uh, that seemed to work out pretty well. I did a, a Cloud Strife cosplay in very much the same method and uh, that was kind of my first draft. And uh, it, it really worked out well in terms of being symmetric with the, with the blades and the armor. So. What inspires you to pick a cosplay, both of you? Um, me personally, what, what speaks to me in my childhood, what had uh, um, a bearing in my upbringing, and uh, being an only child, I spent a lot of time in front of the TV, and, uh, and that, was, uh, that was kind of where I draw my inspiration from as well. Alright, Capra, you, what inspires your cosplay? Um, I'm on a childhood kick too, want to do characters. I'm sure this uh, evil Lynn from He-Man uh, dates me a little bit. But, um, I love villains, and I think they speak. Villains! Yeah! Villains! <laughs> I think they're a lot, a lot of fun to to be and walk around the cons, and I have a really hard time being mean to people. <laughs> I have a hard time actually being a villain. And to but. channel, to channel the evil. Yeah. Let the evil but, flow through you. Yeah. Just. Nice. You want to talk about your outfit? Um, yeah, so this is all Warbla, uh, sandwich foam. And this is my first time ever working with Warbla. Wow, and nice. I know I see, like, a lot of people are like, holy sh**. But, <laughs> I don't know, I just took a little bit at a time. I took a picture. I, this is what I started with. I said, okay, it's in this many pieces. I'm going to cut it out in foam. And I'm going to trace it onto the Warbla, sandwich it, put it together. Okay, that worked. And then I watched a tutorial. How do you make boobs out of Warbla? You can't put them on yourself because you burn yourself. You can't shape them on yourself because it has to be warm to, to mold the Warbla. So I watched a tutorial and they took, I don't know if you've seen the round dome light fixtures. Um, I've seen them take a bra too and lay it on the ground. Yeah, well. but that caved in. So I took a, a round dome light fixture, got it at um, Home Depot or whatever, and just formed the Warbla around that, cut it, attached it. Okay, that worked. Now on to the next piece. So I just took it very little bit at a time, called it done, and was like, no, I need to add more details. So then I added the shoulders, and I added trim, I added these, called it done. No, I need to add more. So you just kind of work with it, keep looking at pictures. Um, I noticed the hardest part in trying to uh, copy a character perfectly is finding pictures of the back and knowing what the back looks like. Why don't you turn around? How many pictures are you going to find very online nice. of a character of their back? That's this true. was my very first cosplay I ever did. And this is, if anybody recognizes it, from um, X-Men, Days of Future Past. It was Blink. She opened the portals in the movie. Um, I had to go see this movie three times to God see help you. what the hell the back looked like. I sat there feverishly sketching, so, um, but I've also been making costumes for over 25 years. I just didn't know cosplay existed until last year, so, um, I don't know, but I think the, the scariest thing about cosplay and why I did not want to get into it was being on stage and being in character and acting out. To me, that's terrifying. I'd rather walk around and say hi to people and whatever, but getting up on stage and competing, a lot of people really aren't into that, but I see this as art, and I wanted people to see my art, and I wanted to get feedback from other artists on how good did I do, like, I don't know. This is actually made out of paper clay. I sculpted it around a plasma ball, so if I turn it on, it's supposed to glow, but lights you can't see it but um that was my my first time sculpting out of paper clay and um i think it worked out pretty well 
Um, what I've learned after making this is this type of stuff doesn't work very well. I didn't put batteries in it. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Well, because it's, it's been so disappointing turning it on and you can't even see it that I didn't even bother putting it. Okay. Yeah, but then again, you would have been in alone yeah. with yeah. But what I've learned from this is LEDs all the way. The idea of a plasma ball was really awesome. LEDs. Or even They're a lot uh, brighter. Yeah, or even EL wire. You hear a lot about EL wire these days. You can find it in um, Michael's or, or other craft stores like that. It's just, it basically um, it has a filament, you know, like an LED filament inside of a um, um, like a plastic cable, usually colored, and then. Um, had it connected to like a little battery compartment or something like that. You can you can conceal that somewhere and just light up. Uh, I made a little arc reactor actually for my chest out of a flashlight head and some EL wire, and it worked beautifully. So it's yeah, that stuff is, is fun to work with as well. Working yeah. with armor for the very first time and molding things for the first time, I suggest foam and then maybe coating it in something to make it a little bit harder. Um, acrylic paint, no bueno. Oh really? It chips. What, what kind of paint do you use? This is acrylic, but on foam. Oh, I see. On okay. foam, okay. it chips well, off the foam. Yeah. Um, you always want to seal the warbler. Um, a lot of people talk <laughs> about gesso. I don't like gesso. You got to sand it. You got to gesso. If you guys don't know, is um, basically white acrylic paint. So the whole thing's sealed in white acrylic paint. Uh, I don't recommend that because you have to sand it, and there's a lot of process. Wood glue. Two coats of wood glue done. Nice. No sanding, anything. You get a nice smooth finish and then I or painted it in acrylic paint and then sprayed it. So the paint is actually on the glue? Yeah. Kind of like a, you know, like a sealant almost? Yeah. That's good to know. Another thing I learned, you use a heat gun to more mold warbler. What happens when you're standing outside for hours at a time? The sun warps your warbler. <laughs> so Again, thinking about uh, when you're going to wear your costume, wear inside, outside. Uh, free comic book day, I don't know if you guys know about that awesome holiday, free comic book day. Free first Saturday. In first yeah. Saturday of every May. Um, May yeah, May the 7th. 7th yep. Yes. And you're hosting um, an event actually for, uh, for free comic book day this year, yeah? yes? At uh, Jetpack Comics. It's in Rochester, New Hampshire. That's like a three hour drive from here. It's totally worth it though. I mean, you get to hang out with her, so. Um, All right, your version of Shredder obviously comes from the animated correct. cartoon. Yeah. Your version of Evil Lynn, comic books, oh, action figures, know. movie. Will you be quiet? <laughs> <laughs> um, I did not like the 80s cartoon version of her. You just broke Jeremy's heart. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I didn't, I just didn't like her armor. Really I just. Mean wasn't cool. So I saw an action figure and I liked that version of her. And then nice. yeah, I didn't the like the boot version. cover versions of that one. So then I took someone else's. So it's kind of a, a mix match of a couple different ones. I have a question. Yes, sir, in the red jacket. Yes. Uh, okay, when you're painting, like say you have like a pair of sneakers or something leather uh -huh. or something, if you want to paint them, what do you suggest? It's going to hold up. Fabric paint. Uh, uh, Michaels. I buy most stuff yeah. online because not only is it cheaper, but you get a better variety. And you can buy in bulk. Too, yeah, if you buy really in bulk. Need to. But anything that's gonna move, like fabric or leather, fabric paint, all the way, fabric paint. Hey, we're still at Yukon Con, and I'm with Corey from Lady Sells Puppets props and cosplay and she's a very busy lady her manager is somewhere around here to my left we're gonna get him on in a minute anyhow 3d printing you got you got props on the table you got a whole bunch of stuff you got your manager lurking in the corner I can see him out of the corner of my eye but you know what we're gonna talk to the talent not the manager so I love having you on the last time you were on was at super mega fest and you were I can't remember who you were, but your picture's on the website, and it was an awesome thing because you made the, the, the staff, and you were taking pictures on a horse that you were going to. I did. Yes, but see, I can't remember the cosplay. Why? Because I guess you get hit in the head. Anyhow, what's going on? What do you got going on today? 
Well, right now I'm here vending at um, Yukon at Yukon. Uh, <laughs> I'm selling some 3D printed objects along with some of our little knickknacks and things I make. And I, officer, officer, I swear to drunk I'm not that. <laughs> okay, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, what else you got going on? Tell me. So right now, the big project I'm working on is I'm actually doing my graduate degree here at UConn itself. No way! Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm doing my degree in costume and puppetry. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I've got something really big in the works right now. Okay. They're two life-size Deinonychus raptors. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Can you send me some pictures? When they get going, yeah. Oh, I want to see them. That's going to be <laughs> awesome. How, uh, what is the ETA on finishing the project? They're going to be for Dragon Con. For, now, you and Brother Calvin, your manager, mm -hmm. you guys are going to be driving down to Dragon Con. Are you going to be able to fit that in? We'll, we'll manage somehow. Well, Cal Calvin's a smart guy. He's going to be able to he'll, he'll, he'll figure it out. But I want to see these raptors. Oh, yeah. There'll definitely be photos going up on my page as they get worked on. So can the Angry Geek Show get it, get an exclusive? I'm pretty sure we could. If you guys want to come out to the shop and yes, take a look yes, at them no, as they're going. We were supposed to go to your shop. You had a sewing party. We had to decline only because of a personal situation that I was in. But uh, we we will be there. You weren't invited. We will be there. We'll, we'll actually come down. Well, this is actually not my personal shop. This is actually the Biff Puppet Lab here at UConn itself. Oh. I There's thought, a lot of cool I stuff going on there. Okay, yeah, if you can set it up, we would love to come down. Sure, that sounds like a plan. All right, we're going to take a break and come back with the brains behind the operation. What's our... We're going to take a quick break and come back with the brains of the operation. This is the beauty. Now we'll have to talk to the brains. We'll be right back. You know this guy, he's been in the Geek Lair, he's been everywhere, he's been in costume, out of costume, he's been in the Geek Lair like six or seven times already, he's like a staple on the Angry Geek Show, he's part of Angry Geek, he is part of the Angry Geek family, the one and only Calvin Exum, the brains behind the Lady Sales operation, you got, some, you got your talent here, she got some extreme work, and what do you got to say? Say Happy New Year to everybody. First time talking to 2016. Have yeah, a, it is. We have a blessed and happy New Year. Yes, we are here at UConn, 2016 UConn, and Lady Sales is killing it. You see her 3D work. You see all her all her handmade work. This this is shot glasses. All of this is handmade. I swear, I swear to God, yeah, I'm not Yes, done. yes. <laughs> it's all my handmade work from somebody that takes pride in her work and puts you the customer first. 2016 is going to be a great year. Now you handle everything for her, all her commissions, um, both cosplay, art, everything. They go through you. How do they contact you? They go through me. You can contact me. I'll, you can even contact my personal email. Watch this. Ready? Give me Calvin.exum at gmail.com. Okay. I will re I will respond to you within 24 hours. Look that's how that. we. That's how Lady Sales team work. We're here for you, the customer. It's time to have, it's time to deal with a commissioner you can trust and is proud to wear her work. How, oh, what's the lead time on a commission? It depends on the costume. It really does. We, I don't want to tell you that it would be a month and it takes us, in reality, three months. So, so you want to be honest with integrity and fantastic work. Exactly. That's the only way to be. It's, it's the only way you get to return customers. It, you know, at the end of the day, it's about making the customer happy. Good morning, Angry Geeks. What is going down? It's Brandon the Shapeshifter here. I'm sorry for the delay of the video. I have been very busy this weekend. Um, as you can see, I'm working right now at work. You guys are always bothering me at these crucial times, but that's okay. I still love you anyway. So, but yeah, I can see I'm in my, I'm in my uniform. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> so, um, yes. Uh, how's your morning been going, Louis? Jeremy? I love you guys. You guys are the best. So, um, you guys want to know cosplayer of the week? Is that right? Cosplayer of the week? Well, um, cosplayer of the week this week is going to a lovely girl. Um, I love her so much. Every time I see her, 
I, I smile. She is so nice. She's so, like, and I love her cosplays are, like, sick. They're, like, freaking dope. I love her cosplays. So, um, this week, cosplay of the week goes to Christy Gibson. Yay! Yes! <laughs> um, so, congratulations, Christy. I love you, and I will see you soon at a, at a con near you.